wasn't so good, was it? Negative beliefs. Is everyone feeling really low now? Okay, don't panic. Because we're going to go into the positive beliefs now. We're going to create some positive beliefs to start running your life. This is the fun bit. And for the big challenge, we're going to create a big belief. We're going to create a belief that you can do it, that you're happy, that you can be successful, that you can be loved. All of those things. And we've talked about the new science which shows that we grow new neural pathways in our brains the more we think different thoughts. Fantastic news which means you're not stuck with an old belief system. You can change your belief system. So I just want to read some stuff from my Big Peace book when I interviewed Dr. David Hamilton on how to create a new belief system. He said that studies show that the more we do the same thing or think the same thought, the more changes occur in the brain. So changes will be more established after 90 days than say 21 or 30 days. Areas of the brain related to what we are doing or what we are thinking expand or contract through neuroplasticity as we keep doing or thinking something or as we stop. So the trick is, is to create this new belief system and keep on going. So now, we're going to look at creating the positive belief system that you need to, to reach your goals in your Big Leap Challenge. So what you focus on expands. So I'm going to give you a few belief systems to play around with, to have a laugh with, and to see which one you want to adopt. You can either have one of mine or you can make your own. But something like as simple as I'm great, I'm not perfect, but I'm okay. I am a creative genius. What else? I am lovely. I am incredibly sexy. I am a sex god or a sex goddess. My potential is limitless. I embrace change. This too shall pass. Choose a belief system that is going to help you on this journey and try and get a big belief system. I loved one of my clients had the I am a creative genius when she was writing her book and it really really helped her when she was flagging and thinking this is a pile of rubbish. She thought no 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 I'm a creative genius and she used that to build a neural pathway in her brain going round and round and round and um, she managed, she just literally got a deal last week um, from, a, from a publisher which is really really fantastic because she is a creative genius. So what positive belief system do you need to to reach the goals in this 21 day pro program write it down what a tool that i learned when i was on my coaching journey was to create an evidence wall so the more you see it in the concrete, in a concrete think, 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 the better it is. So when I was working to change my belief of I wasn't clever enough, I wasn't good enough to be a journalist, my coach said, okay, why don't you pin up all your articles that you've ever written? I'm like, oh, don't really want to do that. But I did. So I pinned them all up. One, Marie Claire, The Times, The Mail. And I went from one little one, to the whole wall being covered in articles. And she stood beside me and she said, okay, so if you weren't clever enough, if you weren't good enough, how come all of these magazines and newspapers have commissioned you to do all this stuff, not once, but over and over again? And all I can say was like, something literally shifted in my brain in that moment. And I was a bit like, yeah, that's true. It's all my presented with this body of evidence to prove otherwise, I was like, you're right, I am clever enough. And I'm sure that's why I, I in four weeks, I'd made that big leap to becoming a health editor because I just got it. I'm like, actually, I am really clever and I am really talented and I can do this. So what's the equivalent for you? For your belief system to take root, what concrete positive evidence, you can actually pin it up on the wall if you want, or some of my clients create a book, 
you know, the, you know uh, good feedback, positive feedback, uh, photographs, um, you know, people when they're losing weight, that they, they've done it before, what's the way that they could do it, or, you know, pictures of you running the marathon. Any, any examples that you've got of possibility, possibility thinking of that what you've achieved, what you've created, how, when you've been successful, to remind yourself that you can do it. So, a fantastic tool, an evidence wall, try it. So to hammer home your new belief system, I want to ask you two questions, and I want you to ponder these questions. What would you have to give up or change if you were to fully embody your belief system? So if you believed you were loved, what habits would you give up? Who would you stop spending time with? Who would you start spending time with? What would you stop doing? I just want you to spend 15 minutes with some paper now, just writing that all down. What would you have to give up or change if you were to embody your new positive belief system? Number two question is if you were to live and embody your new belief system what new standards would you live your life by? New standards for this 21 day program. So it could be something like, I only hang out with people who are positive. I only hang out with people who are kind. I only eat food that gives me energy. I only hang out with people who love me. What are the new standards that you're gonna set for living in this 21 days? And just experiment and play with it. But make sure you get at least three good standards that you say, yes, this is what I'm going to do. This is how I'm going to live. It's a, it's a part of the being part. Rather than just doing something, you're going to be, this is who I am. That is the belief section of our 21 day program and this is radical, this is just what we're starting out with but this one thing can change your life. We are going to be noticing as we go along, your negative beliefs are not going to go away, they're going to be there, you're not good enough, we're going to cover some of that with your inner pessimist, your inner coach later on but for now I want you to be aware of your belief system going on, I'm not going to, you're not going to give it any attention because you've got this new belief system to focus on. You've created your evidence wall, you've got your new standards, you've got your new rules, it's very exciting. And we're going to create this whole new positive neural pathway in your brain, this motorway going through the middle of your brain. It's fantastic. Can you imagine having this blossoming garden, this motorway of all this positive thing that's going to underpin your life from now on? At this 21 days, you're going to be aware. Every time you're just going to make a leap. But this is what the big leap is really about. big leap is changing your thinking in the moment. So you are going from negative thinking, I'm not good enough, blah, 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 to this is the big leap. I am good enough. I can do it. I will do it. Just watch me. That is the big leap.